tell you the story about you'll have a you'll have a ball. Tell me the story, Greg. I'm filming it. Please F tell me the story. Oh, so you, you bought the scotch. Where you buy the scotch? Tell me where. I bought the scotch in Australia. Okay. I bought it in Sydney. So you carried it into into. I carried it in a normal duty free yep. case along with some treats, you know, and, and bad treats then? and stuff like that. Well, I land in. It was. It was a bloody disaster, actually, because yes. I landed in, in Ho Chi Minh, yeah. and I should have done what you did, and I traveled through Singapore, I wouldn't have that problem. Yeah. <clears throat> I traveled through Ho Chi Minh yeah. in transit, and then yes. the bastards don't check you, they, they don't transfer your luggage, you've got yes. to take it out, oh, fuck. And, then you gotta, and then you've got to walk four minutes, and, yeah. and first I, got to, I had to wake up, they said one hour waiting time for the visa, lucky it was like 20 minutes. Yeah. Because I was stressed that I'd make my flight. Oh, the visa only took us five minutes. Yeah, but you're in Danang. I'm in Ho Chi Minh. They say an hour, and I was everybody's stressing out. I'm going to meet you. And, the, and, and then they go for fucking night. lunch for two hours. No, no, they actually did do it. They called. I. It was. You can pay minutes. extra and get and get it done on the spot. Did you know that as well? Sorry. You can pay a little bit extra and get it done on the spot. Well, I, they didn't offer me that option. I know. They just look, pay, they're communists, Greg. What do yeah, you want? Look, it wasn't bad. As long as I knew, I had time. I had three yeah. hours. But the problem was. That if I'm traveling international domestic, uh, yeah. traveling international flights, <coughs> Vietnamese airline and domestic, yeah. they should transfer the bloody luggage. All they gave me is a sticker saying, sir, you need to take your luggage. Open and this check up. In. Open that up now, please, Greg, because I, I want you to open well, the fucking thing up. Can you please? Because Yeah. Well, basically, I don't even have proper, no just, knives. Just tear the fucker open. Anyway, basically, I, so I was... I, I'm in there, I got my visa, then I had to check in the second time with my passport. Oh, so that was a queue. Then I had to walk out of the airport, ask about five people. It's cost them more to keep these people on staff to tell you where to go. Yes. I had to walk about 10 minutes in my, in my clothes, in my suit, to the domestic airport, which I did. And then I show up, I queue up, and you the queue, queue is a mile long, and then they tell, oh, you don't have to, so you've got a boarding pass, just queue up fast. Oh, oh so I oh. queued up fast. I checked in the luggage after, you know, them taking their time. And they're not, you know, they take mobile phone calls. They don't, they're they not mean, strict. They're, they're not communist, Greg. Yeah. So they basically... She didn't like that joke either, did she? Which joke? I said two hours for, for lunch. She didn't like that. They get very defensive, aren't they? Ah, yeah, Fuck. probably. So... Are you going to tip her? I probably will. How much would you tip her? Uh, I don't know, 20 bucks maybe at the US, end. US. US, okay. something like that. Okay. At the end, maybe okay. fifty. Oh, there we go. So, what is this? Oh, this is the. This is this is the. So then I go and go through the. So like five securities. Yeah. My boarding pass was shredded because of what taking out of yeah. the pocket. Yeah. And then I said, oh, you can't take glass bottles. Oh fuck. And I said, what do you mean? Open it up. You can't take ta no checking glass bottles in 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 domestic flights. He says, what am I supposed to do? Check it's an it expensive. So checking in again. Well, you might have to wrap it up because it's fragile. So I then go out. You'll make it, sir. Then I go out. I had to wrap this bloody thing up. What a, fucking, it, what a fucking hassle, Greg. What I got a... it wrapped up mm -hmm. for a... Had I known, I would have never bought it oh. to get this because I wanted single malt. Ah, oh, single malt. Distill it. Oh, wow. That's, that's going to be nice. It was not badly priced. $69, I think, okay. or 59 or something like that. I just thought you said single malt is good. Oh, single malt is beautiful. Glenlivet is, is, is fucking It's bad. a cheapy Glenlivet, Greg, but it's a good it's, Greg, it's good bang for buck. Let's, we'll drink that, okay? And I've noticed that, you know, look, but also, then I checked in again, and then it was delightful, so I still had to wait. So lovely. And here I am. And the only good, good benefit about having a suit is that all the lovely, petite little Vietnamese girls look at the big white guy saying it's probably an attractive 